Hello there, Bittizens, and welcome to the Killer Bits. My name is Francesca, and today we are back in the Trials of Radimus, which is the single-player campaign that was added to Chronicle on Tuesday. Um, and if you saw my previous video, you'll know that we did the first three encounters, and we got three stars in each. So we beat the uh, pirate, Linza, and Tokarket. And then today we're going to try and do Ariane, this dwarf fellow, and Raptor. We'll see how that works out. Um, the good news is you can actually see what the star requirements are before you go into the fight, so you can make a deck that's appropriate for that. So here you can see we need to defeat Ariane, duh, after playing at least eight cards and win before chapter five. Now these three characters actually only had 15 health, so if she has 15 health, we actually have to be careful we don't kill her too quickly, um, because, you know, that's, that's fairly easy to do. Uh, but it's not going to work with the deck I made previously, so it's not going to work with the Raptor deck I used, because that was a chapter five deck. So we've had to make a new deck just for this circumstances. Um, and as it's, you know, I think it's gonna be a fairly simple challenge. We've just made a very basic Agrozan deck. So this is a very cheap deck. Uh, Crassian Warrior and Skeleton Champion and Ketsek, I think are the only paid cards in this deck. So, you know, if you're running a free to play account, you should be fine here. Um, so we've got Gold Gain, Pyramid Plunder, and Ali Morrisane, there he is, uh, in order to pay for, you know, for example, damage through Deathlord Assassin or Dragon Longsword. Uh, we have Dragon Longsword because we also have Snapshot, where you deal damage to rival equal to your weapon attack, and Test of Might, where you battle your rival. So if you have a weapon, then, you know, queuing it into one of these cards is nice. Um, alternatively, we have uh, Skeleton Champion that can give us a weapon, and in order to kill Skeleton Champion, we have Safe Spot. Discard one random card, remove five health from your next creature. So we can use the Safe Spot into the Skeleton Champion to get a weapon, which we can then use to kill either a Ketsek, or play a Test of Might, or play a Snapshot, or what have you. Uh, alternatively, we have a Cave Slime, also works for Reach. Um, then we have damage cards, uh, Troll Chucker, Oozing Calphite, and Desert Snake. We have KGP to get base attack up so that you can kill the Troll Chucker and the Crassian Warrior, which we have for card draw. So that is that. It's a very simple deck. Let's jump into this game. Um, I'm not expecting this one to be too challenging, uh, but we'll see. Um, you can see here, where's our deck that we want? It's not Happy Birthday Danica. Although, Happy Birthday Danica. It is Agrazan. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. What we got? Ariane, come on. Let's get a good mulligan. So here, you know, Troll Jacker's not great because we don't have... Um, I was going to say we don't have KGP and then we drew KGP. So you can actually Cave Slime into the Skeleton Champion and that'll set you up into damage. Um, alternatively, we can KGP both the Troll Jackers. So I'm actually thinking the only card we really want a mulligan here is Death Lotus Assassin because we have any gold for it. Okay, so this I think would do too much damage, I'm worried. Because what we can do, right... Um, Cave Slime into Skeleton Champion into Ketsek. But if I play Desert Snake, that will probably kill her. I need to be, I need to play enough cards without killing her. This is a problem. We might actually have too many damage cards. The alternative is I can play KGP, Desert Snake, Troll Chucker, Troll Chucker. Well, let's just do this right now and see what happens. Oh, if she kills herself, I'm going to be so salty. This is the kind of thing that could happen. I might actually have to fill my deck with just bloat cards so that I don't kill her. But if we draw, you know, like Ali Morrisane's or Gold King here, you know, we should be okay. Oh, she's killed herself. No. No, you haven't, Ariane. You fanny. So I've done too much damage and she's dead. Unless she heals here, she's very dead. Oh, Ariane, you beautiful lady. I'm so happy. <laughs> she's like, I've killed her. Because we played three cards, we need to play eight cards. This is the problem. We need to play eight cards. So we're just gonna have to do no damage for the next chapter and try and play some cards. Because we've only played three. <laughs> Good news is we can play KGP. That's not a problem. We can play KGP and that won't kill her. Okay. Uh. Hmm. KGP. Ali Marsane. We're gonna safe spot nothing. That's six cards. If I ba battle her, she'll die. We're gonna discard. Oh, it's fine. You know what? We don't even need cards. This is <laughs> this is so awkward. Oh, don't kill yourself, Ariane. Please don't kill yourself. Oh, I'm really hoping she's not killed herself. You've got one health. If you've killed yourself, I'm just I'm gonna be salty. Why are you killing another penguin sheep? Can you spend temporary attack? You can! Oh, she's smarter than the average Ariane. I wasn't sure if you could spend temporary attack, but apparently you can. You've got one health. Like, please just do something about that. Oh, thank god for that. Right. 
She's got armor. The thing is, I'm too scared to hurt her, because as soon as I hurt her, she's just going to kill herself. Right, come on. We've played six cards at this point. So we need to play two more cards. Which basically means we need to play like something that doesn't kill her, and then we can just kill her. Come on, non-killing Ariane card. I believe. Oh, fuck. We're going to have to play nothing. I can't play any cards, because I'll kill her. Oh, see, because she's she's living her life on the edge. Playing eight cards without killing Ariane with this deck. That was that was not smart. Right, I need an Ali Morrison or she's on one health. I need an Ali Morrison or like a um just uh what's the other one? Pyramid Plunder, for example. Just give me something that doesn't kill her. Come on. Come on, game. Hey, this'll do cave slime into troll chucker, into desert snake, into desert snake. Uh, I think, so I'm assuming that if I play exactly eight cards, that's okay. Oh man, the hardest part of this was to, like, play eight cards. Oh my gosh. Ariane, you, she almost killed herself chapter one. That was stressful. That was stressful. All right, if you're doing this challenge, maybe put a few more non-damage cards in your deck, and you should have an easier time. Right, come on. Yes! Three stars. Seems good. Seems good. Right, the crowd does go wild. Awesome. Awesome. Right. So if you defeat all encounters, you get the card back. And if I get 13 stars, I'll get the title adventurer. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm surprised that title isn't already in the game. Okay, so let's see what our next encounter is, and then we'll plan a deck for that. The barbarians are ruthless warriors who pride themselves on their fighting ability. Do you think you can do better? Never fall below 15 health. Win by not playing any beasts. So I'm thinking what we might be able to do here is a raptor deck then. Because that's got fairly high sustain. So let's look at our honest raptor deck. In fact, we'll go back, we'll duplicate it. That's the best way to do it. We'll duplicate this deck and then we'll see what's in it. It's got some beasts. Okay, so we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to rejig this deck. So let's do that. Okay, so we have removed all of the beasts from the deck and basically added a bit more healing and some more AP options. So KGP, unsurprisingly, beast, diagonal sentinel, beast, corporeal beast, happens to be a beast. Uh, turns out a lobster is not a beast. Um, and a Crassian warrior is not a beast. Well, I guess it's, I don't know what a Crassian warrior is. It kind of looks beastly to me. Um, but effectively, we've put in some more healing. So we've got, you know, lobster and cabbage. Uh, we've put in a couple Nastroths, and we've put in a, a couple Goblin Flash Mobs to provide the gold for a Nastroth. So we still have the AP gain uh, without having any beasts. And yeah, we've just got a lot of healing now. A lot of healing, a lot of armor. So hopefully this challenge will go okay. I have a feeling that the Barbarian Warrior has a special card that I have not expected for. So we'll find that out as soon as we kind of queue into him. Because as soon as you press play, uh, it tells you what his special card is once you load into the map, I believe. Assuming Barbarian Warrior has a special card. I thought he was a dwarf, but apparently he's a barbarian. They look the same. Look at me. They all look the same. Whichever player has slain fewest creatures takes five damage. Okay, so hopefully I've got enough creatures in here. Oh, that's an interesting card. That's an interesting card. But it takes up one of his slots. But I go second, so I have to basically play all of my creatures. So we can actually do a tr Draenor Slime Toes Jad combo here to get base attack. That's quite doable. We'll, we'll get rid of these. So we can look into doing that. And there's an Astroth. So you go Slime Toes into Draenor into Jad, and that, that kind of works. We don't want to do another Jad because I don't want to go below 15 health. Um, so let's see what he plays. Oh, am I going first? Oh no! Oh dear, you guys, we've, we've, we've lost it. Black Chin Chomper. I didn't think I was first. Oh, shit. Well, let's try again, shall we? That's terrible. He's just straight up, he's just straight up removed my weapon for Jad. Oh, wait, I haven't gone below 15 health yet. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. The armor may have saved the day. How many creatures has he killed? We both killed three. How does this work if it's even? Nothing happens. Okay. Okay, we're good. Holy crap. Right, let's hopefully draw like, you know, a lobster. Maybe I should have gone two lobsters then rather than two cabbages if I'm meant to be playing beasts. Would potentially be a smart thing to do. I have no gold. Uh, 
Oh, this is terrible. I mean, if I take eight off of this, do we? If we heal first, right? Let me work this out. That will put me on twenty-one health, plus four armor, twenty-five. So we would heal for four, but it would count as a beast. Oh, I have no idea what the best plan is here. But then I'll go below 15 health. Oh! If only this was a lobster. Let's do that. This doesn't seem terrible. I think I'm going to take 5 damage though. And if I take 5 damage, what happens then? Maybe we're better not taking any damage though, just accepting our 5 damage. I think that's probably smarter. I think he's going to outbeast me. I've played one. And he's removing health from his next creature. So we can just accept the fact that we're going to take 5 damage here. But still not be below 15 health. And then it should be okay. Oh no. Oh, we should have played the Crassian Warrior. Not the Crassian Warrior. Maybe the Cullen Aromancer. So I'm taking 4 here. I can still take 5. And I'll still not be below 15 health. Oh, we are, we are walking the line here, you guys. Between damage and no damage. Oof. Like, it's, it's pretty clutch right now. He must be the stronger. Well, I've got 16 health. <laughs> oh gosh, right, I need gold or a lobster. I can't, the thing is, I can't take two off the animated armor. Oh, this is bad. This is so bad. He's played both of his Chinjambas, though. So unless he's cheating, he can't have any more. So that'll put me on 20. I think we can go for a healing here. I'll take three from that to gain seven. Let me do this. Take two, but gain three armor. But gain two gold, which means I can play Nastroth. I think that's okay. Right, how many beasts have you got, Barbarian Warrior? Oh, this is such a stressful one. I like it. It's, it's suddenly become more difficult, which is, you know, something that's always fun. He's not hitting me. Which is good. Um, we just have to win the final fight, basically, by the looks of things. We are not ramping up our base attack at this point. After that, like, disaster of, uh, uh, disaster that was, uh, Jad. Oh, so he's played three beasts. So then I've played two beasts, three beasts? I can't remember. Two beasts, so I'm taking five here. Okay, so we're taking damage, so we're on... 21. It's still enough. It's still enough health. We've got more healing. I think. I think we've got more healing. We've got Ice Nihil and stuff. The problem is we just can't reach into them. We could definitely go for like a um, Slime Toes here. A little bit more reach would be nice. Okay, we've got enough for... Oh, Anticipation will heal us for five. Oh, I don't have any beasts. Puts me on four. So I, if I'm on four, let me work this out. If I take seven, no, that's too much damage. Unless I do anticipation first. This will give me five health. Take seven and gain four armor. But I gain one more gold then. Which lets me play Romley. I'm going to go with this and hope that it works out okay. Remove two weapon attack from rival. I'm so glad I didn't play slime toes here. I would have just been, I would have just been crying. You guys, like, this is a horrible matchup. So I can't play no beasts. Don't go below 15 health and win. Okay. Well, I'm hoping it'll be okay. Look at this bastard with all his beasts. This is rude. So we'll gain seven armor there so it, it like it kind of worked out and it was something that I killed I, w I wanted the one gold to be honest so that I could heal here because he's gonna hit me for five again the good news is he can only hit me once more for five and I actually do have quite a lot of health now so we're in an okay position I think it's worked out <laughs> I hope it's worked out oh my gosh this is really fun though I like it look at his terrifying face he's actually terrifying looking what we got 
slime toes. He's just going to remove my weapon if I slime toes. So the question is, do we go for the slime toes into... We can go slime toes into Jad. But if he weapon griefs me... Let me have a look how many weapon griefs he's played. He's played both of his rock golems. Okay, he's played both of his rock golems. He's played... Both of his, I think it's, you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna live our life on the edge. If we throw this in the final fight, then we throw this in the final fight. There's nothing I can do here. Let's do that. Hey, he did not grief my weapon. He did deal full damage though, but we're gonna get armor from this, so it should be okay. Oh wait, if, if I go under 15 health in the final fight. Oh, if I go under 15 health in the final fight, do, does that still count as me losing? Shit, I never thought about that. Oh, is he going to have a weapon into this next creature? Please have a weapon into this next creature. Yes. Oh, I'm going to get so much armor. Okay, I think... Eh. If he has this weapon in the final fight and I go below 15 and I lose because of that, I'm going to be so salty. Though I am going to gain a lot of armor here. And I played three creatures and he played two creatures. So he should take five damage here. Yes. And I have to hit him three times. Okay, I don't I don't think I go below 15, but I wonder if I'd gone below 15 here whether I would have lost that star. Oh, that would be that would be such a poor way to lose. I never really thought about it. Yeah, go me. Well, this deck worked out. Note to self, don't tank Jad, so like like expect the weapon grief. But that's a that was a really fun one because clearly you have to go beast heavy. I think if I'd done it previously, um I probably would have played Vanescula because she's got a very, very beast heavy deck. The only problem is never going below 15 health. You know, she kind of plays around being mortal. So that's maybe not going to work. All right, what we got here? Defeat the Raptor. Never let Raptor have more than 20 armor. Win with the most base attack at the end. Okay, so we're going to need... I'm thinking we play Raptor into Raptor and we just tech in some like green um, green dragons and basically armor removal. We can We can definitely do this one, I think. So let's go and have a look at our Raptor deck and then go from here. I feel like most of these challenges you can do more or less with Raptor. Right, so I will be back shortly with a new deck. Okay, so here we are with my anti-Raptor Raptor deck. Um, and effectively, we've taken out stuff that kind of gives us armor, like animated armor, Ice to Hill, Court Beast, and Virago, because I think we can do without it if we're just stacking a lot of base attack. Uh, because we've put in cards like Ogre Warlord, which sets my armor to five. So there's no point me stacking a load of armor if I'm just going to remove it. But it also sets enemy raptor's armor to five so you can use that to keep his armor lower alternatively we have the green dragon here remove all armor from both legends now to counteract that we have also added in some extra base attack gain um through amulet of fury but because we have amulet of fury we need gold gain so we have two preparations here uh and we have uh goblin flash mob and we've had to cut the romleys as well just to make room for all these new cards um but that's effectively what we've got for anti-raptor so Let's see how this goes. I guess it depends on how much health he has. You know, if he has not very much health, then maybe we're better just killing him. Oh well. Let's go. See how it works. Uh, so we want anti-raptor. Raptor. This is... Oh, it's still got the bug where it shows the previous character's icon. Okay, that's fine. So it is... we are against raptor. Okay, so what has he got? Oh, we've got K double KGP. Double KGP is nice, but you know, you're going to discard things. Oh my god, we've got so much base attack gain here. Uh, let me just turn this spinning noise off. This was a bug we heard previously, so let's just do that. Um, this will put us on... Let me think. Two base, three base, four base, five base. At which point we can actually two hit the Ogre Warlord. Take six damage. But then I don't want to give him armor. I think we hold on to Slime Toes in case we decide to use it. Hmm. So the thing is, we're going to discard some base attack if we play double KGP. But I think ultimately... So we'll discard two of these. I think that's okay. Although I don't really want to discard Ogre Warlord because it stops him getting armor. I don't really know what to expect with him. He's already got five armor is the thing. So potentially we actually do that, I think. I'm going second. I think I'm going to put this one earlier. How much armor can you gain in three slots? Probably quite a bit. But then we'll only be on... Ah, see, then we'll only be on four base. Does this work? Three base. 
up to that. Kill the Ogre Warlord, kill the Grassian Warrior. And then we only discard one of these. That's actually, I think, probably the best plan here. Let's see what he does. Okay, he's taking damage. I don't have a weapon. And I'm going second. That's a questionable, a questionable play. I probably don't need to be as worried about this as I am. In fact, he's removed armor himself. So if I give him armor now, I'm going to be so salty. We'll see. He's got two armor. What did we discard, actually? I never checked that. We discarded Amulet Fury. That's okay. We've got another one. And our gold gain in this deck is a bit tight, so actually losing the Amulet Fury is okay. So I've actually ended up giving him two armor here. Oh, no. Me, why? Why? This is not good. Oh, and then he gained five. So if we played it last, it would have been okay. I'm just a bit nervous. Like, there's so many easy ways for Raptor to gain armor. We've got a green dragon. I think we go base attack and then green dragon. I don't think he can gain... Well, maybe he can gain 10 and 2 slots. You know what? Fuck it. We'll go KGP into green dragon. That is the current plan, unless we draw anything more interesting. Uh, do we need to heal? Not particularly, but we can. Do I want to give him base attack? Not particularly, but we will because it puts our base attack up to six, which puts us in a nice position. I maybe need more damage in this deck, honestly. And apparently he's taking off his armor for me. So maybe I should have played it later. Oh, I, I, I think I'm, I'm playing all my armor grief too early, honestly. There goes our amulet. Okay, so we discarded both amulets of fury, which means we actually have no need of gold anymore. Oh no, this is no good. I'm removing two armor with a green dragon. I'm removing no armor with a green dragon. I removed five armor from me. Good job, me. <laughs> it's kind of weird playing without the sound effects, actually. Oh well. I mean, I'd rather have no spinning noise, to be honest. Okay, he still hasn't really gained much armor. Maybe this deck is not the right pick because we're going to the final fight. Like, maybe you're better just going straight aggro. But because you need to win with the highest base attack as well, it kind of made more sense to me to do it this way. On the plus side, he currently has no armor, which means I think we can play this fairly safely. Um, in fact, like, he's got no armor, so, you know, we can play more or less what we want and it should be okay. Hmm. There's no real need to play any of this. Like, I can play this for health. Play this so we have the weapon, but then he, he'll know to remove it. I've got too much healing, you guys. Uh, let's do something like that. Hopefully he's not going to gain, like, a metric ton of armor here. I'm so, I'm so worried. Oh, he has Corp Beast. He discarded it. Yes! Yes, game! That, oh, that was so good. So I didn't know he had Corp Beast, but this is, this is looking more promising. Okay, so he's going to have 7 armor and plus 3. 9, oh, 10 armor. He'll have 10 armor at the end of this turn. So now we want to look to actually remove some armor. This is where we actually want to be more aggressive with it. The thing is, we can actually play kind of fast and loose with our health. Like, we don't, doesn't matter too much about our health. Depends if we draw armor grief, really. I'm salty we discarded both of our amulets of furies. Okay. Can we play the second slot? Can he gain two armor? I always have this. Can he do this? It's like, well, technically he can. And we'll heal. Do we kill this just for the gold? I think we do. I mean, we don't need the gold for anything, but... In which case, we don't actually kill it. Because we, we've got... We discarded both of our amulets of fury, so there's no real need for gold gain here. Oh, don't... Don't get five armor here. Please don't get five armor here. No! Oh, I hate you. Ah, oh, we've lost out on a star, you guys. We've lost out on a star. I think this deck could work. It's just that, you know, I didn't expect the barricade. If he's running barricade and court beast, this is a tough one. Because you've got to kind of place your armor grief in the correct location. And because we placed that one one slot later, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. Oh, I'm salty. And, like, he's going to get loads of armor from Ice and Hill because I've had to build base attack. This is a really difficult challenge. Hmm. 
Maybe you go more aggressive. Maybe you have to go like a base attack hybrid. But you know, you have to have more attack than him by the end of the game. So it's really hard to do. There's literally nothing we can do here. If he gains more base attack, we're scuppered. We can grab a weapon for the final fight. We can heal some more. <sighs> Not good. We've got too much healing in this deck, I think is the problem. Less healing and more uh, armor damage and armor grief, I think would have been better. So we know we know now what we would how we would tech out this deck to change it, I think. You know, because we've not needed the healing. He's not been hitting us. There's been no real need for it. So you can take out a hell of a lot of the healing in this deck and go for more base attack, more gold, and more armor gain, basically. Because I discarded both of my Amulets of Fury, which if I hadn't done, I could have, you know, paid for one and then gone into the final fight um, with higher base than him. So that would have done that achievement. And we would have done the uh, base attack achievement. Never mind. I mean, we beat him, right? Which is easy enough. But I think, I think you know, you need to go for heavier armor grief and you need to go for more base attack gain, which we can very easily do with this deck. Um, but I think that is something we'll do for another video, perhaps, or I'll do it between videos. Um, but you can see that we at least got one star. Oh, one star's not enough. I'm salty about that. I'm salty about that. But we're going to leave it here. We fought three battles and then we'll continue with this in the next video. Maybe we'll try and do the rapture again or we'll, I'll do it in my own time. Uh, if you want to see me do the rapture again, let me know in the comments below. Um, beyond that, you know, uh, if you want to follow us on social media, we have a Facebook, facebook.com forward slash thekillerbits, and a Twitter at thekillerbits. Uh, let me know what you thought of the decks and how you would defeat the raptor if it was you playing instead of me. Again, in the comments below. Um, and we also have a Patreon, patreon.com forward slash thekillerbits. I've been Francesca, and this has been Chronicle, and I will catch you guys in the next video with uh, probably some more trials. We'll see how it goes. This has been trying. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.